into overtime here in the Bush Clash. Let's see what happens now. We're green. Denny Hamlin and Eric Almirola lead the charge. Hamlin gets a clean start there. Almirola on the inside. He isn't going to give up, though. He's got the push from Ryan Blaney. Joey Logano trying to do something on that high line, but he's got a lot of damage. Hamlin getting the needed push from, of all people, Chase Elliott. Whoa, Chase almost turned him. He almost turned him again. Look out, boys. Now Chase will try to, whoa, what in the? Hamlin goes around, Boyer will go around, caution should come out, and it does. Hamlin may have cut a tire. And unfortunately, for one final time, Jimmy Johnson will crash out of the clash. He's literally crashed in every clash appearance he's been in. Except last year when he won the Rain Shorten race. And literally the only guy that didn't get damage from that, Chase. Blaney with damage. Back straight away. Huge push come from yeah, Chase almost turned Hamlin twice. That may have caused that. Here's Hamlin here. Then he gets loose. Yeah, that's a tire right there, boys. Hamlin has said on the radio he lost the right rear. Well, and he was afraid of that. That's what that conversation between him and his crew chief, Chris Gabehart. They were worried about that tire run. Thankfully, Chase got through it. Harvick gets more damage. Kurt Busch got turned. Johnson, unfortunately, in it. This Bush clash turning into the Bush Demolition Derby. As Denny prophetically said a bit earlier, who will survive? The consequence to this is that these cars are the secondary backups for the Daytona 500 for many, well, they were, for many of these teams. Well, it just puts more pressure on all these teams and drivers, especially when they... Everybody could be losing one of their backups because of all these crashes. Strangely, we didn't have a caution until that lap 25 one, or um, except for that lap 25 one. Until... Nine laps to go, and Kyle Busch and Joey Logano triggered that first crash. Now Chase Elliott in the lead, and the only guy really without damage in this entire race. <laughs> Joey Logano doing some grass hauling on pit road. They'll try to clean that off. Wonder if NASCAR might throw the red flag here. That's in their pit box. They've not given up on finishing this race. Yeah, everybody just working on finishing this race. Really, Chase Elliott, Austin Dillon, and Eric Jones are the only guys left that are going to be legitimate contenders running full speed to win this race. Who knows what's going to happen or even how many cars are going to finish the race, if any. But we'll figure all that out soon enough. 